Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and happy Thursday to everyone. I am going to do a different little project today. This We're going to make this, and I know the glare is going to be awful, and I'm sorry. We're going to make this cute toolbox for Dad, and it does close with a magnet. It's the inside of it. So you can make this out of any kind of paper you want because you are going to be covering it with this aluminum tape. It's like a tin tape. It's what um, they use for uh, duct work and air condition work and things like that. You can get it at any hardware store. It's not very expensive. But I thought we would make this cute little toolbox. And again, sorry about the glare, but that's the only way I know to show it to you. For father, somebody, and like I said, use any kind of paper you want. As you can see, this one is even an old piece of paper that I had that's faded, but I don't care. The inside is okay, and that's, you know, that's what I'm not going to cover the inside, but I'm going to cover this, so I'm not going to worry about it being faded a little bit. All right, now on, my, on this one that I made, I went ahead and scored, no, I went ahead and put my uh, tape on and then scored and I think that's what I'm going to do on this one as well because it's a little bit easier to put the tape on before you have the score lines in there so we're going to do that first now this tape has a sticky back to it alright just peel the sticky back off and then I just start on one side of my sheet and work my way to the other. Some of this you're not going to need, some of it you're going to cut off, but it's a little bit easier to do it this way than it is to just try to figure out exactly where you need the tape and where you don't. And as you can see, I'm not worried about any wrinkles or anything because we are going to emboss this. Oh, by the way, this piece of paper is eight and a half by nine. Eight and a half by nine. All right, when you put your tape down, you just put it right up against the one before. It doesn't, doesn't even hurt if you go a little bit over. It's not going to matter at all. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to mess up that. All right, let's throw that over there. Put that there. I'm going to leave this piece right here. Even though part of it is going to need to be covered, I'm going to leave it because I know all of it's not going to be covered and I'm not going to waste a whole piece on that. So go ahead and trim off on the back where your little tape ran over a little bit. Okay, so once you get that done, then grab your scoreboard. We're going to do quite a bit of scoring. And this this is my design. It's I didn't get this from anyone, so I can't give anyone credit for this. If I mess up, it's me, not anyone else. I'm going to score on the back side. All right. This is the 9-inch side right here. 9-inch. This one is the 8.5. You want to start off with the 9-inch side. And just make sure that it's good and even on there. Score at two inches all the way down, four inches, six inches, and then you're going to score it every half inch. So we're going to score at six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. So that gives us all of those score lines. Hope you can see that. This will be the top that has that little rounded dome. Then turn it in your scoreboard. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're going to score, this is on the eight and a half inch side. You're going to score this at two and one fourth all the way down. And at six and one fourth. Whoops. All the way down. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and fold everything first. So 
of Bold and Burnish and all your score lines. I think you can even get that tape at Walmart. I don't, I'm not sure. My husband loved the box. He said it looked, it reminded him of an old toolbox that his dad used to have when he was a young boy. So he really liked it. All right, now that you've got all of your score lines folded and burnished, what you want to do is on this end where you have all of the half inch score marks, you want to go to this score mark on the side, score line on the side, and you want to cut down just down to down to that score line right there. So you're cutting off all of these that are at the one half inch. And then just cut it straight across. And do that on the other side. This is making your lid All right, so that's got that part. And now what you want to do, this is going to be your side. These two pieces right here are going to be your sides that fold up. So this piece and this piece we don't need but just a small portion of. But we do need a little bit of that. So you want to put, put it back in your scoreboard, fold that back, put it back in your scoreboard, and you're going to come over from that score line that, where you scored it at two and a fourth, you're going to come over a half an inch, so you'll be scoring at one and three quarters, and score just down to that first score line right there. Let's see if I can show you that. This is that score line at two and a fourth that we went all the way down the paper with. So we come back to one and three quarters, and we score just down to that score line right there. That is all you need to do. And now, and to make to keep it simple, I'm going to just spin mine around and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to try my best to come down here and find that score line. Right there it is. And do that on the bottom. So as you can see, I did it up here, and then I just followed my score line down. You can use a ruler if it's a little bit hard for you to follow that score line down. Just use a ruler and come down. So you can do it over here. Just get about a half of an inch. It didn't have to be exact. This is just going to be flaps. So see, we just did that on all of them. Just a half an inch from, from that score line to this one on both sides. Leave this middle part alone. Don't score that one. It's just on these four outer corners. And now what you're going to do is you're going to cut down on all of your score lines. Do the other side while we're at it. Okay, and then you're going to, where that score mark is right there that you just made, you're going to cut that off just like that. So you're going to cut that piece off because we don't need that flap. You don't need that much of it. I have a hard time controlling these big long scissors, shears, whatever they're called. Okay. Save these little pieces because we will use at least one of them. Alright, go ahead and fold those up burnish. Alright, you're going to have something that looks like this. Alright,
right and on here I went ahead on mine and I cut just a little angle on both sides you don't have to do this or you can round the corner off if you wanted to I just did a slight little angle all I do to do that is just go to my first little score mark and just take just a tiny little piece off of either side that is it that's all I do okay we're ready for let's see oh yeah we do need to round these corners and you see where we we're going to use this piece so I'm going to put just a little bit of this uh, metal on there metal tin whatever you want to call it my husband said it's tin I say it's a metal I don't know Oops, that's not big enough. Okay, let's throw that one out and try again. Alright, so let's just put that there. And then we'll trim this off on the back side. Now we need to round the corners. So all you need to do is put it in your corner rounder and give it a chomp. And of course it likes to stick in my corner rounder. And that's okay. You can, you can get it out. Probably would be better if I did it the other way. There we go. All right, see what I did? I rounded the corners on these little flaps because they're the ones that's going to come up at the side. Okay, Okay. we have our trimming done. We have our corners cut. And now what we're going to do is we're going to emboss it. This is an embossing folder that I have had for a long time. I am not sure what it is. All it is is little dots. If you, you know, you can use any type of embossing folder you, you want. I just thought this looked more like a little um, toolbox with these dots, but you know if you have something different that will work. Now my embossing folder is over there so it's not on my desk so I have to go to a little different location. But I'm just going to show you how I put mine in there. I put it in just like this and then I fold this under and close it. And then I run it through like that. I run it through sideways like this. Through my, you know, it's six inch, so it'll run through perfectly like that. And then I open it back up and I move my embossing folder down to this end and do the same thing, you know, fold my sides in and run it through. And then I then I run my sides through. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my embossing done. I know the glare is terrible. Let me see if I can turn my lights just a little. And you can still see but not see the glare see that isn't that cute this one I did this one I debossed and then this one I embossed so the the um, little dots are raised I think it's cute all right now we are ready to put our score tape on so let's put some score tape on this little piece right here on all of our tabs. Alright, I want to burnish that down good because I want it, I don't want it coming up. Right, and then just Fold it up and meet the corner, just like that. And then do this side.
camera is a little bit off again. Hold on. There we go. Just put the corners together. And I give it a good press just to make sure that that score tape is going to hold. And see the inside looks good just the color that it is so I don't have to worry about doing anything to that. Alright now these little pieces right here it's going to be your top and it's going to kind of round and come down like that. So I'm going to put a magnet on there but first we're going to do our handle. And remember these pieces that I told you to save? back in your scoreboard and on one of the pieces you want to score it a couple of times like at the 1 8 inch mark on both of them just a couple of score lines just so you can fold it that's all that, that it's for is just so that you can fold it you may okay after you get that scored all you need to do is fold those lines over and then just burnish it really well. This is going to be your little handle. Alright, and then I take my, just to keep it from coming apart, I take my art glitter glue and I run, I put the fine tip in there and I just run some back and forth down through there and then press it back down again and just run your bone folder over it a few times. That is gluing paper to paper on the inside of there so it shouldn't have a problem at all. Just run that back and forth until I'm pretty sure that it's dry. Alright and then just take your bone folder and easily you know just just do it easy and slowly. Go on the underneath side and just keep running your bone folder over it until you get that little bit of curve in it that you want. And like I said before, it doesn't matter if it has a few little wrinkles in it. It's just going to add to the um, interest of the piece. doesn't matter. Once you get that to where it's curving a little bit, then go out to the end and just take about a quarter of an inch and turn that up. That's going to be your handle for the top. And that can be adjusted, you know, any way that you want. But that's the way it looks. It looks like a really, a real metal handle, doesn't it? Alright, now what I'm going to use is probably some glue dots to put this down. Just because they seem to hold just a little bit better on something like this. And I'm going to eyeball it. I'm not going to um, I'm going to put it down and then eyeball it to see if I've got it about right. That looks about right, so let's press that down. Okay, so there's your little handle on it. And then let's put a magnet on there. Now these magnets already have a sticky back to them. If you can get this white piece off. These are the basic gray magnets that we carry in the store. But I go ahead and put a glue dot on there anyway. Just for extra security. Then just put it somewhere in the center, right, about right there looks good. And then take this one, 
let it click to it so you make sure that you've got the right poles together and take another glue dot put it on this side and then just fold it over to where you want your you know where you want your lid to be oops just kind of get it straight press it down now this is going to be a little bit hard pressing on there because you don't have anything in behind it and there you go you just put your little magnet on there and you have got your little toolbox cute as a button I think I can't wait to give these out for gifts I think I'll give them to some people for Father's Day with a little gift card in there or some candies or whatever so I hope you give this a try it is quick and easy and if you need any further information on it please let me know I will try to put all the information and the measurements on my blog and the blog link is below but we will talk to you guys later that is our project for today and like I said please give it a try and share it in our members room so that you can be entered for the $15 gift certificate to the boutique don't forget we are having a sale this weekend it is a memorial weekend sale so it will run from Saturday morning to Monday around 12 o'clock so don't forget about that come and join us it will be on our dot com and our Facebook sale group we will talk to you guys later please give us a thumbs up and subscribe bye bye